forecast with meteorologist Patrick Evans. You're looking outside at El Paseo and it's a pretty view and there are a lot of folks out and about and enjoying what is a nice day. We're going to start to warm up. Folks already in warm weather gear as you can see and we're going to continue to see the numbers climb from here. Our temperatures on the way into the mid 90s by tomorrow or low to mid 90s and even warmer as we hit Saturday. All right, a little bit of that offshore flow continuing the very clear easterly flow on the map and you can see how much stronger it is in Banning and Beaumont where winds are up over the 30 mile per hour mark, close to 40 mile per hour winds uh, up at Banning. But here on the Valley Floor, winds 10 to 15 miles per hour, not bad, 17 mile per hour winds in Yucca Valley. The gusty winds have prompted this wind advisory, which remains in effect until later on this afternoon. Doesn't cover most of the valley, but it does cover Desert Hot Springs, areas north of the freeway, and then through the San Gorgonio Pass as well. Now, what we're looking at, clear skies, and that's just the cloud cover sweeping all of the wind sweeping that cloud cover offshore. So you're going to find a nice band of very clear skies along the coast. That marine layer has retreated significantly. Let's look at the numbers. We're not quite as warm as we were yesterday, but we're real close. We're in the lower 80s. Uh, we're one or two degrees off. Uh, we're at 84 in thermal. That's the warm spot. We've got 80 in Palm Desert, 81 in Palm Springs, 63 in Yucca Valley, and 82 up in 29 Palms. Uh, dew points. This is an issue because it is a fire issue. We've got dew points down in the negative numbers in many areas in single digits, low teens. That means the atmosphere is extremely dry and has been uh, looping us uh, from last night into this afternoon. And you see those dew points not recovering very much and really dipping in areas. So significant dry conditions are creating a higher than normal fire danger along with these gusty winds and warmer than normal conditions. So right now wind speeds, as I said, up around that 10 to 15 mile per hour mark. That's about it. Not terrible for us, and those winds continue to drop off through the afternoon and evening, even in the past. And that's why that wind advisory should expire right on time. And that will pave the way for calmer conditions over the next couple of days as those winds back off to 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now, with those winds blowing offshore and high pressure building in, we're going to end up a lot warmer than normal today and then on into the rest of the week. Yesterday, we hit 88 for the daytime high. We're going to be close to that today. And so that's the number that Palm Springs is pegged at. A little bit cooler in the mountains, as you might expect, but look at L.A. Offshore winds boosting temperatures to our west as well, so they're going to see temperatures in the 80s. Our numbers go down from there into the 50s and likely upper 50s for overnight lows. Uh, and so we're not going to get as cool over the next couple of days. Overnight lows will continue to be fairly mild and daytime highs will continue to climb. Let's take a peek at that Comfort Air 7-day forecast. Uh, as I said, 88 today, thereabouts. 92 tomorrow, 96 on Friday, and we peak, whoops, we peak the numbers uh, as we move into Saturday up around that 97 degree mark, and then the numbers come down a little bit into next week into the 80s. So it is going to be just a little bit cooler next week, Jeff, but really a very warm weekend on tap for Easter weekend. Yeah, it's going to feel very, very spring-like. A flip-flops, shorts kind of forecast there. A lot of people like to have Easter brunch outdoors. It will be a little warm for that, but I think a pretty comfortable weekend. You can find some shade and mist. Okay, yeah. thanks, Patrick.